Lady Elizabeth is home. This is the silver meat. First game. I'm back where Porto's Cafe. I just got my food. to excel we woke up this morning and look what showed up at the front door katie elizabeth is home the cat's very excited about that i don't think the cat cares kate welcome home look she's got her sleeping bag and her stuff and her suitcases no, and there she is so you had a good time i did have a good time and i'm about to reunite with all my friends so tell me about work camp um, so every morning we would wake up at 6, well, at 6.15. So basically we stayed in the high school, right? Mm -hmm. It was good because it was air conditioned, so like that was a good Oh, thing. good. Yeah. And so every morning they would come on the loudspeaker at 6.15. <laughs> and it'd be like, brah, 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 and then they would say something. <laughs> and it was always Eric saying a fun fact. So he would say a fun fact and I would sleep through it. <laughs> and then I would actually wake up at like 6.50 or 7. Because I would wake up and every single girl in that room would be gone. And there was like 18 of us in that room. And everyone was like at breakfast except for me and Tate. We were like slumped. And so we'd get up, go to breakfast. And then after breakfast, we had mass started at 7.30. So every morning we had mass. Mm -hmm. And then we would leave for our work sites at like 8.30. And then my work site was a child care center for people who it was like a it was like a preschool for Everybody people. Everybody different work sites. Yeah. Oh. So our work site and my group we were group thirteen and we were at a work site that was like it was a preschool mm -hmm. for people who like aren't really fortunate enough to pay for preschool for their kids. So it has like, like there's people that go out to people's houses and like do things for them. And it's for like, like mostly single moms who like can't really, like who are trying to like get a job and stuff. And like couples who are like really unfortunate, or not unfortunate, but like less fortunate. Mm -hmm. And so it's like a, it's like a free, it's a free preschool. So they don't really have like a budget to be able to pay for people to like come clean up their thing yeah so we went and we power washed literally everything painted everything cleaned wow. everything wow like moved all the furniture from the classrooms cleaned the carpets um i scrubbed like the whole outside of their building which was really great because i got to like be on a ladder i have paint still on me it was great so if you guys go on my channel and watch the vlog <laughs> Um, I made a week-long vlog, except I haven't edited yet, so it could be going up in like a week or two, because also there's stuff going up on my channel now, so. That's awesome, Kate. Were they appreciative? Mm -hmm. Did you see the, like, the... We didn't see the kids, because they're not, um, going to school right now. Oh, okay. But the people who worked there were very appreciative. Oh, okay. And, um, it was really good. So we'd work for a couple hours, and then we'd have lunch, and then, well, first we took a bus there which took like 40 minutes, and I would sleep every single ride. I literally slept on Simone every single day. Anyway, so then we went and we'd work, and we'd have lunch, and we'd work some more, and then we'd take the bus back home, and then we had free time, mm -hmm. and then what program, uh, eat. At high school? Mm -hmm. How's food? Well, it wasn't their food. It was all the St. Andrew's food that we just like brought a bunch of snacks and oh, everyone okay. would just sit in the cafeteria and just eat food and play cards. Oh, cool. Yeah, because there's zero service. And also I lost one of my earrings. Um, there's zero service at the school. Anyway, so then after free time we had program, which started at 7, which is like where we just like do a bunch of fun stuff and like talk and reflect and all that kind of good stuff. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we had more free time. Who loved that? And then lights had to be out at 11. We had to shower in the locker rooms, which was gross. Oh. But they actually weren't that bad. Like, they, I, they could have been way worse. Were they clean? Mm-hmm. Okay. And the people who, like, lived in Huntingburg, like, the people that went to that school, uh -huh. they came through and, like, cleaned all of our rooms and the bathrooms and everything and, like, the cafeteria and stuff while we were gone at our work sites. Oh. Which was, like, so nice because they're not even part of the camp. They they just live there, but they're all, like they did Catholic cart work camp like last week, 
but they were helping us out all week, which is really good. That is cool. And very kind of, like they, like at every other camp, they don't do that. But they came in and cleaned up, which was really nice. So yeah, that's it. Uh, it sounds awesome. It does, it was awesome. So I'm gonna go to the bathroom because I've been on a bus for 15 hours. <laughs> and I'll catch you guys later. Did and you then- Put your stuff away? I have to get up, what? Up, yeah, I'll put it in. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm going to Kylo's. She's awake? I'm, yes, she's been awake since I texted her that I was coming home. Oh, really? Which was last night at. Oh, and then we went to King's Island, which was an amazing Oh, park. man, was that fun? It was so much fun. Awesome. Yeah. It's gonna be a great day. So, Dad was like, Yo, doll, you have a swim meet. And I'm like, No. I don't really want to go. I didn't say, Yo, dog. She said, Why are you have a swim meet? I didn't say that either. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's go. It's another day in which we excel, Ryan. Let's let's go excel. Excited? No. This is the silver meet. This is uh, for all of the silver swimmers all summer long. And Ryan scored and got into the silver meet, which is good. And uh, here we go. Good luck, bud. All right, guys. Good morning. It is five thirty in the morning. It is early, early, early. Ooh. Gosh, there we go. It's five o'clock in the morning and we are at the hotel lobby right now. All the boys are having breakfast, getting ready for the Junior Olympics. Today is their first game, 7 a.m. and we're about 45 minutes away. So we have to leave right now, 5.30, to get there by 6.15 to warm up so we can ha be ready for a game at seven. So there they are. They just have to get this. Everybody has their navy shirts on. Hi you guys, good morning. We are in the car now with Brennan and Liam, and there's Mrs. Mack. Hi Mrs. Mack, good morning. Hi. <laughs> All right, it is early and we are getting ready to go to the wonderful tournament. First game, day one. Oh, sorry Brennan, you, you, you okay back there? No. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go, the boys are going in. Three of our team, how many of our, on our team, Ellen? We have 14, no, 12? 15, something like that, yes. Anyway, here we go. We are in Downey, California at Warren High School. So all of you out there who go to Warren High School, give a shout out. And it is almost 6 o'clock. Or is it 6 o'clock? I've got 6.08. Okay. No sun yet. It's not that cold. 60 something. Yeah, it's nice. These boys are ready to rock. Let's do it. Alright, I'm here with Ryan Dolly. Ryan, uh, how you feel today? Um, tell me about uh, the race today. Your first event is an IM. Do you feel like you're going to do well there? Really. Um, tell me about uh, what you're doing right now, doing a uh, poor interview. What? You're being a poor interviewee. Uh, it's early. Uh, I don't really want to swim right now. And the pool is the way that I eat. I'm so excited. Alright, it's going to be a great way race. Good luck to you. Thank you. Thanks for time, Ryan. Tell me how you're feeling. It takes a lot out of you. Oh, sure. That was good I am. Looks like you were winning for a while, and then uh, yeah. something happened around uh, the freestyle. Mm -hmm. I'm good at butterfly. Not really good at backstroke, but my competitor, I know him, uh, wasn't that good either, so that was good. <laughs> um, and then uh, in breaststroke, he kind of just came up on me, not really that great at breaststroke. I, just it out. I noticed she shook hands at the end as a good sportsman should. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, I'm not complaining or anything, but I, I'm used to a yard pool, there's a meter pool, and the guys are bigger. Sounds like you're making excuses. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I'm just saying. I'm Sounds saying. like you're making no, excuses. No, I'm not, I'm just not. <laughs> hey, listen, nice swim. Thank you. Also, I had nothing to eat this morning, so I'm not really that energized. Thanks for your time, Ryan. There he is, making excuses for not winning. <laughs> Back to you, Bob. All right, guys, this is a really cool thing. So the refs are taking, uh, the officials are looking at the players. They have to check their fingernails so they're not so long. They have to check their name, make sure they're members of USA Water Polo, and that they are who they say they are. They have got picture IDs over there and everything. So this is uh, pretty official. Has Brennan gotten checked yet? He's number three. 
I think he did, yeah, he should be in the water. Yeah. Alright you guys, well we finished our first game this morning. It was a tough fought battle. We did not come out on top, but you guys still did a great job. So now we're gonna go eat, and then we have another game at 12.50. We just watched the team play, um, who we're going to be playing against, so the boys got some tips. They, they play a three on three, seven, six seven. on five, is that right? Yeah. Okay, whatever that seven, means. Three, three. Seven three three. So they're beginners. Set up basically. in a three three. Okay. Not seven three three. Oh, they set up in a three three. Okay. I wonder what's going on at home. I know Katie got home from camp, and Ryan is swimming in a silver meet. So that's very exciting. I hope he's doing well. And we will see you guys um, maybe inside. We're going to this place called Porto's Bakery and Cafe. If you're from California, you might know it. It came highly recommended. So um, let's go eat. What's up guys, it's Brendan here, Porto's Cafe Unboxing, and um, you're very close to my face. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Where's Zoom? So we got the box here, you know, just classic pictures. Hispanic joint, let's see, uh, let's see what's up with it. We got the uh, spinach roll, disgusting, that has feta cheese in it. <laughs> That's mine. Not a big fan. Apple strudel, banging. And then, oh, old time cinnamon jaunt. Let's see the apple strudel is. Pretty good, it'll, it'll do, it's feasible. Yeah, okay. Schmitty. Nothing over the top, even eight. Eight one out. And what are you waiting on? What's coming up next? Breakfast wrap. Let me get a bite of this real quick. Mm. Dude, ah. you're gonna be scoring goals all day. That's good. Is that good? Oh, dude. Yeah. yeah. That's really good. Alright. They're gonna have to awesome flavor. Very rich. Nine seven. Oh, very nice. Nine seven on the cinnamon roll. Okay. Porto's cinnamon rolls. I'm banging. I'm back where Porto's Cafe. I just got my food. Look, look at this. Guac omelet. Okay, looks good. Let's see how it tastes. Should we? That tastes good. Hits the right spots. I like it. It's an 8.5. Let's see about the breakfast wrap. Tastes like a Chipotle burrito. Good, not spicy. No, I know. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. That's a breakfast wrap. Okay, Ryan, uh, the breakfast of champions. He's got a Gatorade, and uh, here you go. You're gonna get your donut too. Uh, Ryan, tell me, uh, is is that uh, gonna help your performance? A donut and a Gatorade? Donuts. I mean, this is what all the champions eat. I saw Michael Phelps eating this before the Olympics. I mean, <laughs> It's certified. It's amazing. Fantastic. Listen, good luck in your next heat. Uh, heat. What are you doing next? Freestyle. Freestyle. That event coming up. here and had a nice uh, silver swimmy. Good job, Ryan Ardo. No, it wasn't that like good. Did you feel good? No, not really. Hey, when somebody says that, you just say, hey, thanks. Oh, thanks. There you go. Um, um, nice work. Congratulations on a successful swim season. Thank you. Um, Ryan was telling us about the butterfly you just did and uh, oh, my gosh. stuff okay. on your abs. So, we usually, we have a 25 yard pool, right? So I'm not like a club swimmer, like I do this for fun just in the summer. Um, but I really love butterfly. I actually kind of take butterfly seriously. Um, but we usually have 25 yard pools. And when we do a 50, it's a 50 yard uh, uh, butterfly. And that's like, I'm still cranking by the end of it. That was a 50 meter, no, that was a 25 meter pool. Um, so yeah, that wasn't, uh, that wasn't that. Hey, you that still positive. did a nice job. Nice Thank work. you. Thank That's you. what I'm looking for. Uh, Thank you. By the way, I had a golf match, which I actually do take seriously because I love golf. Uh, 
but it got canceled because we're experiencing like heat wave right now. I was sweating for most of the meet. Uh, I couldn't tell, like I got out of the pool and after a little bit, I still couldn't tell if it was like the water dripping off me, off my hair and stuff, or it was sweat. Like I, I couldn't, I couldn't tell. So that's kind of sad. And there's a golf course right there and I'm urging to play golf right now. Uh -huh. If I had 17 waters in a cart, I could play some golf yes. right now. <laughs> Hey, so we're heading back home. Nice job. Uh, Brennan has lost his first game at J.O.'s. They're a little bummed out. He's bummed out about that. Uh, so we'll see what the second game brings. And Katie is back. She's over at the friend's house catching up. And uh, we're going to have a great day. All right. Wonder what they're doing back in California. Man. All right, you guys. We won that game. Hee-haw. And came back to the hotel. For a little rest and relaxation. Yeah. Just an hour's worth though, because now we're getting back. We had to drive, first of all, from the, after the game we drove 45 minutes back to the hotel. Rested for about an hour. The stuff is so good for that place. Oh my gosh, Brennan back finished his food. 9.8. 9.8 for the Porto Bakery? Or Porto yeah. Bakery? Yeah. And cafe? Yeah. That is awesome. Congratulations. Yeah. Maybe we'll go back. Yeah. We're going right back up to that school to play again. Whoa, a third a game. View of the patio. <laughs> All right, we're gonna pack it up and go back up for game number three since they won, they lost the first game and won the second game. Now we're competing with this next team to find out who is gonna go into the higher division and who's gonna go into the lower division. We are hoping that we come out on top. We'll see. Um, I think we're going to though. These guys are awesome. You guys, we have returned home from our dinner and we are both exhausted. We're gonna do the math. Nine, 10, 11, it's one o'clock a.m. at home. So we're trying to stay on East Coast time. I know, but tomorrow we'll probably switch to California time. Because then we're gonna have to switch to a way different time, which we haven't told you about yet, our summer vacation. It's gonna be a way different time than we're in now. I know, so staying in East Coast time would be a good idea. We had a great day. It was a great day of water polo, don't you think? No. You don't think so? No. Just because the way the last game ended? No. Oh. Why wasn't it a great day of water polo? It's from the bronze division. Okay. You're going to win it. A lot. Stevie said we're going for gold in the bronze. Oh, cool. Yay. Yay. All right. What made you happy today, babe? I shot against uh, in the first game. A hitch fake double bar in. Nice. A hitch fake double bar in. That sounds fancy. Yeah, I'll tell you about it later. Okay, very good. You should you should get to sleep. Really? <laughs> yeah. You should go to bed, Brennan. Stop staying up. Why are you up? Yeah, I'll try Why? to go to bed <laughs> soon. <laughs> Alright, you guys, what made me happy today was hands down watching Brennan play water polo and his team. It was so much fun. I enjoy it so much. I'm super duper proud of how they played. Also, Katie coming home um, safe and sound from her trip and I cannot wait to hear all about it. I haven't even talked to her yet. And Ryan swimming well in the silver meet. Hope you, hopefully you guys saw that as well. Um, and then hearing from Mike. So um, we had a great day. It was a wonderful day. I'm exhausted. It was fun spending time with Liam and Miss Allen as well. And Simon and Miss Tracy and Sierra. Um, so you guys, comment down below what made you guys happy today because we want to know. And stay tuned because there's much more fun with water polo and California. And tomorrow Katie's in a swim meet. And then on Monday they're coming out here. So Brendan and so Katie and Ryan will, and Dad will come out here with us in California. And it's going to be so much fun. We're going to have lots of fun activity when they get here. Three more people in this. I know we're gonna try to fit, squeeze three more people in this room, so we'll figure that out. All right, so comment down below what made you guys happy today, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.